Hello, my beautiful Capricorn friends. Welcome to your June 16th through 30th, 2021 reading. This is a collective reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you've scheduled your appointment. And don't forget, royalmystic.com is where all things Royal Mystic reside. We have the energy of... Uh, a new experience coming in because I am getting ready to post the retreat that we have rescheduled from last year that had to get canceled and uh, so I'm looking forward to that stay tuned and it will be posted very soon I've got I've got all the details coming so well this is a very good way to start your your uh, reading my darling Capricorns we have the Scorpio death card and the sun card so death and rebirth death to the old way a clean slate and the sun which is the opportunity of a lifetime or and or the universe bringing you through uh, a rebirth situation allowing you to start out or end up better than you started out being in the energy of receiving this grand energy. This is the happiest card in tarot. And this is the purging energy of all negativity. So, with that in mind, thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Ooh, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So, <laughs> We could just end the reading right there with the Scorpio and uh, the Scorpio Major Arcana and the Wheel of Fortune coming up after we had the first two Scorpio with uh, the beautiful energy of the sun. So, um, you know, that's a fabulous beginning. You know, the Wheel of Fortune is just amazing energy of new beginnings being uh, shot out of the cannon, so to speak, and moving very quickly in the right direction. So you're going to hit the ground running for sure, for sure. I don't see any way around that. So we've got the Nine of Pentacles. That card jumped. Oh, the Virgo Major Arcana, the Seeker. That's a good thing, following the divine path, being guided. Um, hanging in there through the battle fatigue that you may be experiencing. And moving forward. So this is a progression from the five to the six of swords. Which means you're now following in the flow. Allowing the divine light to guide you. And allowing yourself to move in the right direction. Releasing negativity and moving to the right, to the right energy. So we have the magician. Spectacular reading guys. Um, Ace of wands. And the page of pentacles. Well, that's talking all about the perfect alignment for a new beginning and financial offer coming in. Even though you can't see it right now, don't panic. It's still in the works. The universe is working it out. There is your uh, divine major arcana. So this is showing you're in your power and your strength with your Capricorn energy and the chariot. So this is an upgrade. Um, hello. Can we say abundance? <laughs> Hang in there and don't settle for less than you deserve. The Seven of Wands is telling you to stand your ground. So, whew, cappies. Y'all got some stuff hitting the fan here in a good way. The Nine of Pentacles is your ability to manifest abundance through your belief. It's important for you to understand you control this. It is your belief that makes this possible. You are manifesting your abundance through your own belief and faith we have the hermit which is the the beautiful seeker energy of the virgo major arcana this is using divine light to guide you down the path that means using your intuition using the strength of divine to help move you forward so that you don't step off into the chasm the five of swords 
you may be battle weary. You don't have to keep swinging the sword, but you do have to stand the ground you've gained. So don't give, don't give an inch here and definitely don't retreat. It's worth it because you get this, now it's time to launch forward and, and you're not carrying the swords anymore. You're just moving with the swords. All that uh, that you gained in the ex, you know, experience of all of this allows you to move forward and be guided. Again, you're in the light and you're being shown the way. So that's the perfect energy. Manifestation. This is the master manifester. The magician is all about being in an energy of allowing yourself. Oh, there's a bug on me. <laughs> of allowing yourself to manifest through positive source right through the crown into the heart chakra and maintain in a perfect world what would your best possible outcome look like and, and lock into that energy. Sometimes it's about what it will feel like. However, you can manifest it better. Passion, very much in a place of passion and solid energy of a new beginning because this, this has taken root and has been ignited. So it doesn't have to be a relationship. This is the relationship area, but the passion can be a new project or a new job that's beginning because here comes some money. Uh, now, this can mean a commitment too. So if you've got that going on, the Page of Pentacles is all about putting your money where your mouth is and it is offering you something we have the Five of Pentacles where you may feel like the deal is dead. You haven't heard from them in a while. Don't panic. Just be patient. The universe is working out the details. You can't see it in the natural at this very moment, but that doesn't mean it's not there. It just means it's not visible to you. The Devil card. Your energy, honey. This is your solid energy of standing in your power. And, you know, I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not casting aspersions on you, Cappies, but y'all can be stubborn, and that's where you're at. That's what they said, is standing stubbornly in your power. So that's what I got from my guides just then, just like digging your, digging your hooves in. And then we have the chariot, which is upgrade, 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 and right underneath that star is where she's sitting in the throne of abundance and fast-moving energy of success. It means literally going from coach to first class, all things improving in every direction. So let's see what else we can do. <laughs> let's see what else we can do. We have the hanged man, which has got his nimbus glowing. It's an enlightened position. It's telling you to look at your situation from a higher perspective, not just not like on top of a building, but from a higher chakra energy or a higher spiritual mind. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you, hello, for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you for your presence, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So we had two little jumpers, the page of cups. That's the, the wave of abundance. And now this is the knight of cups, so the offer being extended. The Resurrection card of the Judgment and Archangel Gabriel. The Two of Swords. Don't try to make everything logical. Spirit has a bigger stake in this than, than logic. The Strength card. Leo Major Arcana. Loyalty. Devotion. Being in a place. This is Archangel Ariel. Being in a place of being focused on your goals. Which is exactly what that magician is. The Seven of Cups is the dump truck load of blessings. It may seem overwhelming, but it's exactly what you want. A time period, three days, three weeks, three months, third time the charm. There's your, your double devil in it over here, Cappies. <laughs> that was too funny, double devil. All right, so we have... <laughs> 
we have also got the temperance card here. So it is being handled. Both of these cards, the Five of Pentacles and the Temperance, are talking about the universe helping make synchronicity and make action come together for you. And there's that Nine of Pentacles you started with. Overflow of abundance with the chariot, which is definitely that kind of, of energy. So it's telling you, this is saying stick, stick in there. Don't let anybody change your mind. And this is telling you, don't even focus on the chaos around you. Don't let it enter your, your aura. Allow yourself to seal off. Focus on your goals and don't let the distractions pull you away. If you turn around and try to save other people here, A, you're going to end up in the same boat they're in. And B, you may drown in the process. So, you can't save them. They have to, they have to manage their own vessel. The Nine of Pentacles is the energy of belief that the universe is conspiring in your favor. And when you're in a place where you absolutely believe that to be true, you make it so. And so it is. Here's the wave of abundance and the little page with this little fish in the cup is saying the universe is br continuously providing. This is being in your place of you may be feeling some kind of spiritual calling where you're in a place of kind of looking to see what you believe or searching for something more. That's where that, I, I got into that energy. Life, this can't be all there is to life. Uh, there's got to be more. And the universe started to show me that. And that's what's happening here. He's seeking. And if you seek, you shall find. What you're looking for, my darlings, is also looking for you. Don't forget that. It is true. And here it is showing up, the Knight of Cups, an extension of an offer or an ex a gesture or some kind of assistance. It can be a job. It can be a relationship. All kinds of things can be happening. No matter what you've been battling or what you've had to go through, um, you may feel very exhausted at this moment and be thinking, well, this isn't a sure answer. This isn't a sure victory. What do I do now? Well, you hang in there. You don't have to go forward, but you don't have to retreat either. Don't give up. Hang in there because this is your restoration moment. This is the judgment card, and it means being, being brought back to life, being restored, renewed, regenerated. This is the energy of the universe bringing something back to its former glory, and we will take that. And now you're free to move forward and be guided by divine don't try to make it make sense, though, because it is not going to make sense. This is waste of time if you're trying to make logic work in a miracle, okay? They're just not the same kind of energy. So if you'll let yourself get into the miracle energy, you can manifest away. So this is where you put your heart and your soul into the manifestation and the belief of the new thing coming in. And you've got Archangel Ariel walking beside you to help you get to that ultimate goal. So, the Lion of God, Leo Major Arcana. Now we have the Ace of Wands, which is passion, new beginning. This can mean work, something igniting to allow you to literally have that fire in your belly and here is the seven of cups which is blessings in abundance so that means work now I don't mean like work work but it does mean work because it means you got to do something with all that that shows up you can't just leave it out somebody will run off with it so page of pentacles is the energy of the offer being made or money coming to you through this commitment energy and then we have, as a financial commitment, we have the Three of Swords telling you a time period. Three days, three weeks, three months, or third time's a charm. The Five of Pentacles is the energy of the universe manifesting something in and putting it all together for you. Now remember, everything has free will. So these two pieces may take a little longer than these three did. But it's coming together. It's being worked on behind the scenes, and you can't see it. She's in here begging to find a way to negotiate for it to happen. She can't, and nothing she can do will make this any different. The universe is doing all it can, and if it can't make it happen faster, you certainly cannot. So don't waste your energy spinning your wheels. You just dig yourself in worse. 
There's your energy. Stand in your power. Don't let yourself get obsessed. Don't let yourself get overwhelmed with it. Just be in that place of zen. We have the devil card again. So double, de <laughs> double devil it is. And that is your major arcana. So now, look, this is where it's more of a fearful energy. And now you're in the energy of feeling like, oh, okay. So Archangel Ariel is here with the Temperance card. This is also Sagittarius Major Arcana. Now you have this um, magician up here with the light coming in his crown. Well, look at what she's doing. That's not a faded spot on my card. That is the light. So she's doing alchemy, bringing in the abundance that you need to assist you in making everything be synchronistic. And baby, you can't get much syn more synchronistic than this. This is a huge landslide victory. Coming in with the, the chariot and being treated like royalty and abundance just growing on the leaves of the trees. Hello, like leaves on a tree, we're just growing money. How about them apples, my Capricorn friends? This is an amazing reading. <laughs> Many blessings to you, my darlings. Have a beautiful second half of June. I'll see you again in July. Namaste.